using degrees and minutes to pinpoint locations on Earth. Even though we're going to be talking about latitude and longitude, it helps to compare to clock time for a moment. For instance, sometimes it's good enough to tell someone to meet around 5 o'clock, and that could mean 4.50, 5.05, 5.15, but you're around 5 o'clock. And that's fine for the situation. However, other times, like if you need to catch a train, you need to know it's exactly going to leave at 5.03. And if you don't pay attention to that precise time, you can miss your train. So sometimes a general sense of time is fine enough, and other times we need to be careful and accurate and precise. So the same goes for locating places on Earth. Sometimes the approximate latitude and longitude of a location is enough, like in, when we look at the big picture of the whole Earth. So for example, we're going to take a look at New York. New York is about 41 degrees north latitude. And so you can see the 40 degree line vibrate there. Above that is the location of like Long Island and the rest of New York, approximately. And then if you look in northern Florida down there, that is approximately 30 degrees north latitude. So in this case, we're doing big picture and a general sense of where the latitudes are. However, as we zoom in and look at things more closely and at a smaller scale, it becomes apparent or obvious that we must be able to locate places with more precision. And precision means to be more exact and accurate. So we're going to zoom in closer to Long Island to see this in practice. So here's our example. All these locations on Long Island are approximately 41 degrees north latitude and 73 degrees west longitude. And you can see between the dark red lines that all those pins, which represent the different places, fall between 40 and 41 degrees north from the equator. And all the longitudes run between the orange lines between 73 and 74 degrees west of the prime meridian. So we have a problem here. Since all those places, Seaford, Sayville, Mineola, Farmingdale, Bethpage, Melville, Huntington, etc., are in that same general area, if we just use the whole degrees, they're going to all have the same coordinates. So we can't distinguish one place from another or locate one place from another since they have the same values. So therefore we need to further refine, meaning make even more accurate, our system of latitude and longitude. And we're going to do, do this by dividing latitude and longitude degrees into even smaller units. One way of doing this is using decimals. However, there is another system of using minutes that we're going to be applying and we're going to be studying this minutes approach during this lesson. Decimals, which you probably are already well versed in, would be if we were somewhere between 40 degrees north and 41 degrees north, we might say it's 41.5 degrees. And that is going to be used sometimes in class and in our maps. But this other approach using minutes is one that we're going to be focusing in on this lesson. So even though we're going to be discussing latitude and longitude and angular distances, it may be helpful to think of this minutes idea by watching a TV program that's an hour long. If we're a quarter of the way through that hour long program, that means we're 15 minutes in, because a quarter of 60 minutes is 15. If we're halfway through the program, of course we're at the half an hour mark, or the 30 minute mark. If we're three quarters of the way through it, it's the 45 minute mark. And if we're all the way through the program, that means we've gone the full 60 minutes. So now we're going to be dealing with minutes in terms of distance. One degree of latitude or longitude has been subdivided into 60 minutes of distance, of ang angular distance. So one degree equals 60 minutes. However, if we have a quarter of a degree, that's 15 minutes. 
If we have half a degree, of course that's 30 minutes, and 3 quarters of a degree is 45 minutes. We're going to be using an apostrophe for the symbol for minutes. So as you know, the degree symbol is a little circle to the top right of the number. Well, the minute symbol is an apostrophe to the top right of the number. So if we go a quarter of the way from zero to one degree on our timeline below, or our degree line, that's going to be 15 minutes. If we go halfway between zero and one degree, that's going to be 30 minutes. Three quarters of the way is 45 minutes, and the whole degree is going to be one degree, zero minutes, to show we're exactly at one degree. If we go a quarter of the way between one degree and two degrees, that's one degree, 15 minutes. If we're at the halfway point, that's one degree and 30 minutes. One degree, 45 minutes is three quarters of the way to two. And here we are at the two degree, zero minute mark to mean we're exactly at two degrees. So we're gonna apply this to a Long Island map using Google Earth and use this extra precision in finding our latitude and longitude. And we're gonna start with Seaford, New York, marked by that star. So the latitude of Seaford is 40 degrees north of the equator plus an additional 40 minutes. So that means it's more than halfway between 40 and 41 degrees north. You can, you can think of 40 minutes into a TV program as more than halfway. Our longitude, which are the vertical lines, as you know from previous lessons, are going to be marked by those red lines. And you can see I've put an arrow down from 73 degrees west of the prime meridian and 30 minutes. Well, the star for Seaford is not quite there. It's a little to the east. So the value for Seaford's longitude is going to be 73 degrees 29 minutes west. And it's important to take note that the further west we go, the numbers get bigger because we're getting further from the prime meridian. So as you can see, the numbers for longitude as we go in a westerly direction are getting bigger and bigger. So here's 73 degrees 24 minutes, 73 degrees 27 minutes, and so on. So make sure on a map you don't mix that up because it's easy to think that as we go to the left, the numbers are going to get smaller. Our next location is Huntington, New York. And our latitude is 40 degrees, 52 minutes north of the equator. So therefore, we're almost all the way to 41 degrees north. 52 minutes into a program, would be almost all the way. So in this case, for distance, we're almost all the way to 41. Our longitude, as you can see, falls somewhere between 73 degrees 24 minutes west and 73 degrees 27 minutes west. So Huntington's longitude is about 73 degrees 25 minutes west, meaning it's about a quarter of the way between 73 and 74 degrees west. Our last location for this map is going to be in Sayville. Sayville is a little bit above 40 degrees and 44 minutes north. And the longitude falls between 73 degrees 3 minutes and 73 degrees 6 minutes west. So here are our coordinates for latitude and longitude for Sayville. So it's three quarters of the way between 40 and 41 degrees north, because it's 45 minutes. And it's just a little bit greater than 73 degrees west. It's very close to the 73 degree line because it's only five minutes in. And again, using the TV analogy, five minutes into a program, it's basically just started. So what we've done is we've separated and precisely determined the location of three places that previously were just all 40 degrees north 
and 73 degrees west. Now we're going to be using page 3 of our Earth Science Reference Tables, or our ESRT, and this is a page that you're going to be needing to apply this minutes idea to. So we're going to find latitude and longitude of Slide Mountain using this new way of determining coordinates. Slide Mountain falls exactly on the 42 degree north latitude line. And as you can see, it falls somewhere between 74 degrees and 75 degrees west longitude. And on the reference table, there's always a little tick mark that shows the halfway point. So if you look at the A, the last A in Messina at the top of your map, there's a little tick mark above that, which is the 30 minute mark. So our location for Slide Mountain is about halfway between 74 and that's 74 degrees, 30 minute mark. So therefore, Slide Mountain is going to be approximately 42 degrees, 0 minutes north, and 74 degrees, 15 minutes west. And again, the 42 degrees, 0 minutes is pretty obvious, but the 74 degrees, 15 minutes west, you can see it's because it falls between the 74 and the halfway mark. Now we're going to go to Ithaca, and Ithaca is at the base of the Finger Lakes there. Ithaca falls between 42 degrees and 43 degrees north, so we can kind of think of it as 42 degrees and change. And now there's a little tick mark that lines up with the last S in Massachusetts there, which represents the 30-minute mark or the halfway point. So now we know that Ithaca is close to that, but not quite. We also have the longitude here. And the longitude is falling exactly halfway between 76 and 77 degrees west. It falls right on that little tick mark between Elmira and Binghamton on the map. So our coordinates for Ithaca are going to be 42 degrees, 25 minutes north, because it's almost at that 30 minute mark, and exactly 76 degrees, 30 minutes west. Now let's try Plattsburgh, all the way in the northeast of our map. So Plattsburgh for latitude is somewhere between 44 and 45 degrees north. And again, you need to look for that little halfway point, which is um, just above the N in Lake Champlain. So that will give you a sense of our minute mark. Again, that halfway point is always a 30 minute mark. Now our longitude, you can see, falls between 73 and 74 degrees west. And it looks like it's just short of that halfway point or that 30 minute mark. So our answer here would be 44 degrees and 45 minutes north and 73 degrees, 25 minutes west. And when you're doing your papers, if you had for Plattsburgh, it was 40 minutes north and the longitude was about 20 minutes west, that's okay. There's a, a, a bit of a range that could be accepted for your answer as long as it's not too far off. But we are clearly below the... 30 minute mark in terms of longitude and clearly above the 30 minute mark in terms of the latitude. The last one we're going to do is Messina, New York. And Messina just is short of being 45 degrees north. It's just below that. So we now we know it's going to be 44 degrees and change and really close to 45. Our longitude line is just short of 75 degrees west. So you can be thinking right now, well, what is our coordinate for latitude and what is our coordinate for longitude in a day? So starting with latitude, we're 44 degrees and 59 minutes north about. It could be 58 
or 57 minutes even, but we're very close to 45 degrees, but not quite. And our longitude is 74 degrees, 50 minutes west, meaning it's almost at 75 degrees, but not quite. Now for even further accuracy, we can divide minutes into seconds and there's 60 seconds in one minute if we wanted to even get a more accurate and more, uh, more precise location mark. And our GPS's that we use in transportation like using our cars, they would definitely be using that. But for the purposes of our class, we're going to be fine just using the minutes and not the seconds. So this is the end of this lesson, and we're going to be practicing this further using our homeworks and classwork assignments.